Ahsoka has made an epic comeback, gracing our screens with fantastic fight scenes and thrilling space battles. Get ready for a new Star Wars experience that'll have you on the edge of your seats. Ever since its announcement, Ahsoka has sent fans of the Clone Wars and Rebels into a frenzy, eagerly awaiting the return of the beloved Ghost Crew in stunning live action. In this video, we're diving into the first episode of Ahsoka. How have people reacted to it? Did it live up to the expectations of its diehard fans? Well, we're about to find out. Let's jump right in. Master and Apprentice opens up on a New Republic ship, but this ship's fate seems doomed right from the start. A mysterious vessel appears, flashing an ancient Jedi clearance code and requesting to meet with an Imperial prisoner. Captain Hale, played by the fantastic Mark Rolston, boldly welcomes this cloaked pair on board to untangle the mystery. Balin Skoll, played by Ray Stevenson, and Shin Hadi, portrayed by Ivana Sokno, disembark. On the surface, they seem like your typical master-apprentice Jedi duo, but we don't have to wait long to find out their true intentions. Hale confronts the pair, calling their bluff and proclaiming that they are not true Jedi, but Imperial trash. Balin and Shin don't waste any time. In a fantastic, adrenaline-pumping fight sequence, they unleash their red lightsabers and force powers, decimate the ship's security detail, impale Hale through the chest, and take over the ship. Skull reaches the prisoner's cell, and it's revealed that the target of their prisoner break is Morgan Elsbeth, a member of the Night Sister Coven and a prominent leader in the Imperial Empire. And guess what? Morgan's sitting there all calm and collected, just waiting for them to release her from those pesky handcuffs. She reveals Ahsoka's mission, which is to hunt down a hidden star map that could lead to Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn, who may have escaped the New Republic's clutches. Because, you know, it's Star Wars, and we're contractually obligated to have a plot centered around a map. We cut to Ahsoka, who finds herself on a mysterious sandy planet, surrounded by ancient ruins. She slices her way into a hidden map room with strange foreboding figures carved into the walls. In a sequence that's a fun homage to Indiana Jones, right down to the musical score, she uses her Jedi powers to extract the spherical star map from a hidden pillar. But as she emerges from the map room, a quartet of robots are waiting in the shadows. After a slickly choreographed fight scene, Ahsoka narrowly escapes, when the droids, realizing they're outmatched, initiate an amazingly explosive self-destruct sequence. As Ahsoka and her droid Hu Yang make their getaway, they receive a transmission from the New Republic, alerting them to an incident and requesting their assistance. But wait for it, here comes a surprising reunion. Ahsoka meets up with none other than Hera Syndulla from the Ghost Crew, played by the awesome Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who fills Ahsoka in on the Morgan Elsbeth prisoner break. Ahsoka drops a bombshell by revealing that the star map she recovered might lead to Thrawn. But Hera is skeptical, believing that Thrawn died in the Battle of Lothal at the hand of Ezra Bridger. Now Ahsoka can't quite put her finger on the Master and Apprentice's identities, even though they're walking around with lightsabers and some seriously impressive skills. To solve the mystery, Ahsoka turns to Hu Yang for some good old-fashioned lightsaber investigation, hoping to uncover the truth. Hera suggests that Ahsoka seek help from Sabine Wren in solving the star map puzzle. Ahsoka isn't hopeful, but they travel to Lothal, where Governor Azadi is commemorating Ezra's sacrifice by unveiling a mural of the Ghost Crew. But surprise! Sabine Wren, played by Natasha Liu Bordizzo, the keynote speaker, is a no-show. Instead of attending the ceremony, Sabine is out riding her speeder bike, defying all convention, with high-octane space tunes blasting in the background. Bordizzo brings the rebellious Sabine fans have been waiting for, a real troublemaker in the best way possible. At home, chilling with her loath cat, Sabine reminisces about her friendship with Ezra, playing recorded holographic messages from the past. But unbeknownst to her, she's now in the crosshairs of Shin and Morgan, who has correctly predicted that Ahsoka would seek out her assistance. Ahsoka reveals her quest to Sabine, along with her belief that the star map might lead them to Ezra. Sabine's skeptical but open to hearing more. Their conversation about Sabine's Jedi training gets tense, uncovering a falling out. Ahsoka lays down a warning for Sabine. Don't you dare take that star map out of the ship. But well, Sabine being Sabine, she decides to completely ignore her. Meanwhile, Shin is just biding her time, waiting for Sabine to crack the code on the star map. 
And spoiler alert, of course she does, in what appears to be a matter of just a few minutes. But hold your cheers because her victory is short-lived. The evil droids swoop in, snatch the star map right from her hands, and deliver it to Shin. But Sabine's not one to give up easily. She grabs a lightsaber, calls Hu Yang for backup, and goes after Shin. And now we've got another epic lightsaber battle on our hands, with the two apprentices going head to head. Sabine appears to be barely holding on, but on the flip side, Shin has been seriously well taught by Balin, and is having her way in the fight. Ahsoka and Hu Yang race to the rescue, but before Ahsoka can save her friend, Shin deals an apparently fatal blow to Sabine, stabbing her through the stomach. The action-packed pilot episode closes with a shot of Sabine slumping to the ground. In our opinion, what really makes Master and Apprentice stand out is its non-traditional pilot feel. It kicks off Ahsoka's journey while continuing the arcs of established characters from other series. No need for introductions here, the show assumes you already know and love these folks. While it might be a bit of a slow burn for Ahsoka's character, the episode lays some serious groundwork for the season. What's going to happen to Sabine? And how in the galaxy is Ahsoka going to recover that map from Shin and Balin? Thank you for watching! What did you think of the Ahsoka pilot? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications for future videos. See you next time!